and yeah, hello. All right, yeah, things and stuff. I tried recording yesterday, I just wasn't into it. So, I know, at least this time I got a kind of nearly, <coughs> I have a couple of topics, sort of, I can kind of mush together into a video. Um, as far as the uh, uploading the stream goes, I'm probably going to do that like every two days. So and I'll, I'll upload part two tomorrow, part three, uh, Saturday, things like that. So it'll be done by like next week. I don't know. It's just it's quite a lot of footage to just sort of digest. So I figured I'd stagger it a little bit. Anyway, um, thank you for the stream though. Uh, I had a randy dandy old time. Um, by about 11 hours into it, I was just dead. I'd eaten so much food and I drank quite a bit and I was really tired. I needed to get up at you know, about like six hours. I was just like, no, I'm done. I'm bailing. But I had a good time, you know. A good fair few of you showed up and you all seemed like you enjoyed it and did some cool showdown stuff with Robotnik and uh, did the Nuzlocke thing, which uh, interesting result. Uh, I'll probably ex do. I'll probably go into a bit more detail on that when I finish uploading the stream, so that if anyone wants to watch it, then they can, and then I'll go into more detail on it. But no, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. It was good times. And then the next day, I went uh, into London to go watch Arsenal play in the Emirates Cup, and they fucking lost. And I was like, ah, I'm a Spurs supporter, so I'm I'm slightly infused by this. I didn't wear a Spurs shirt there though fucking Arsenal. At one point, all the Arsenal fans started standing up and they were chanting something. I couldn't quite make it out. And then eventually I heard them I sort of got a good um, like ear roll of it. And it was like, if you hate Tottenham, spot, hot, Tottenham Hotspur, then stand the fuck up. And I was like, oh. So there you go. That was a thing. But yeah, had a good time um, with stream and then the Emirates Cup. And I was fucking tired after that, but there you go. We enjoyed ourselves, we had a good times and times and times, and, um, yeah. Uh, one thing, uh, well, I like to say, the Emirates Cup has got a little topic on it, and I will probably go into a bit more detail on what happened on the stream once the stream's uploaded, so I don't give, like, any spoilers, because it's sort of like, if, you sit, if you're going to sit through 11 hours of footage, you probably want to, you know, be able to do it without having to sort of know what's going to happen. So anyway, for those of you who do soldier on, good for you. A um, couple of people I think were there for the entire thing. I think, yeah, Coop was there for the entire thing. Guaf showed up in, like, when I was doing sort of pre-stream sorting things out. And Hacked as well also showed up. And then I think he had to leave for a couple of hours, but he was there for most of it. So yeah, quite a lot of you stuck it out, which I, I enjoyed. Um, I don't know how many viewers I got in the end. I think the peak I got was, like, 15, but it kept sort of going up and going down, so I don't know. I enjoy myself. So there you go. Anyway, um, in the Pokemon front, as I'm sure you've heard by now, uh, Aegislash went Ubers, which is just like, really? Okay then. I. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to comment. It, I, I knew that it was a big problem. I understood that. And I acknowledge that. It is a big problem. But you know what you do with problems? You work around it. There had to be something you could have done to be Aegislash. Yeah, maybe just ban King Shield, since King Shield was 90% of the problem. You're banning it for one poke, and without King Shield, Aegislash isn't that balls deep hard to kill. Because once it's, I mean, it's going to be inter it's going to be difficult to kill, granted, because you can switch it in in shield form and then you can attack in blade. But if it can't just go back to shield form, then that's all right. Admittedly, you still get the toxic still sets, which would be a bit of a bastard. But you you wouldn't lose any attack, so you still have a vague hope of killing it. So yeah, I think getting rid of King Shield would have been the more um, sane approach to the problem. Because, yeah, or you could be really goofy, like really, really goofy, and ban, like, the shield form. I don't quite know how you'd sort that out, because you could never do it in a game. Or uh, on DS, uh, or on the 3DS, rather, on cart. But on Showdown, you could just ban the shield form and just have it right. It's only blade form, which would be pretty interesting. I don't quite know how you'd sort that out. 
Although I bet you a hundred, you know, anything you like, if it was just in blade form, it would be shockingly bad. It would probably drop massively. Do blade would usage would go up. But yeah, a couple of just little of little asides on that one because I don't think it was ban worthy, but I do un understand how why there's a problem there. Uh, another casualty of the uh, well, not actually the ban hammer, but usage. St uh, statistics was shift tree oddly enough um, the usage stats for uh, NU uh, came out and um, oh, I suppose it was probably RU wasn't it yeah I think it was in RU and shift tree just managed to go up shift tree is an offensive defog has been apparently getting quite a lot of usage in RU and so um, that jumped up a tier nothing jumped down from what I saw nothing big as been spotted like what the hell is that I think people are waiting for Hitmonchan to drop down because no one loves Hitmonchan in RU and it's so close to dropping down by usage that um yeah people would just sort of like stop using Hitmonchan so we can drop and we can use it I don't really care though um people were quite surprised Spiritomb didn't go up I was quite surprised Spiritomb didn't go up and then I was like oh cool Spiritomb didn't go up <laughs> normally I'd be like no Spiritomb why haven't you gone up and fucking RU but um I built this team, and uh, it's fun. It's very fun. Um, I'm not going to say it's perfect, and I have lost quite a few games, and I did make quite a few changes, but at the current state it's at, it's very enjoyable. It's certainly not perfect. It's not going to get me, you know, like, it's not going to help me ladder or anything, which I'm not going to do, and I've told myself I'm not going to do, but I keep sort of catching myself trying. Um, but it's it's a laugh. So it's got my completely bog standard Bastiod on, which I love dearly. It's amazingly brilliant, fantastic, gorgeous, wonderful thing that completely owns the world and is so bulky it's just stupid. It's apocalyptically dumb how bulky this thing is. Um, so we got the Stealth Rocks, Toxic Protect Raw, bog standard Bastiod on. But I'm going back to my roots with, with um the uh, old 5th gen NU, where I just had Bastiod on and then three things that would wall anything that wanted to touch it. Maybe four. Um, so I'm going with uh, Scarfed Haunter, which I forgot how good it was. It's fucking amazing. I love it and I adore it. It's, oh, it's phenomenal. I think it's better this gen than it was last gen. Maybe it's because of Dazzling Gleam? I don't know, but I used this set. I have Energy Ball there so I don't have to run Hidden Power Grass on a uh, wheezing it's just a bit better and not many people expect the energy ball which is odd because energy ball is just t-bolt but actually a bit better to be honest so i really like it it's fucking phenomenal and it's won me many a match and swept many a team and it just kicks butt so good on you haunter um classic specs wheezing max speed because you can outspeed a quite a surprising number of things and with sludge wave which for some reason on Zarabi it says it doesn't get Sludge Wave and yet on Showdown it does. I, I don't know. I'd probably have to go have a look at that because I don't quite know why. I don't know. But with Sludge Wave it's going to motor through tons of stuff. Um, one thing I have been having a smidge of problem with is Ferrisseed because let's face it, it can lead seed and then protect and then you're locked into Fire Blast. You only have 8 Fire Blast to begin with so it can just stall you out. But yeah, it's not too bad. I do like the Weezing though. It's very enjoyable. Um, I was originally going to go Scarfed and have Memento instead of Shadow Ball so that I could set up with something, but I was like, wait, that's fucking stupid, let's just specs it. Um, Spirit Doom, which usually, normally, 99% of the time I would despise with a burning, fiery passion. And I suppose I still do, but this set, like max HP, max defense, this is in place of the... Um, the Golbat, the Violet Golbat I used last gen, this is effectively what it's in there for. Because Golbat is RU. And it's pretty fucking good. Foul play is amazing. You're going to be able to, like, uh, in combination foul play, sucker punch, you're going to be able to kill, like, for alligators and stuff. It's, it's pretty fucking tasty. I do like it an awful lot. And, like I say, it tanky enough that it can cover most things that Bastion's got a problem with. The only thing that is a major problem that you'll notice is um, water. If you get a strong enough water dude, you can kind of just sort of breeze through the team, but 
This is why we have the Ditto. Now, I have no fucking idea why Ditto is NU. Yeah, maybe its usage isn't that high, and I still can't quite figure out why that is. But it's really good. It kicks butt. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit weak and shit like that, but I really enjoy using it. I honestly can't complain. At all. Um, the only thing I would say about it is maybe you'd want to change the IVs to try and get a certain hidden power because let's face it uh, uh, uh yeah because the stats just changed so your IVs are completely irrelevant apart from HP so you could try and tweak the IVs to get a certain hidden power in case you do manage to transform into a poke with hidden power but no it just works and things like um, for alligator if it's an SD one, well, Spirit Room can tank one, foul play it, and then Ditto can come in and aqua jet. It's great. Um, combuskins! Combuskins have been a massive problem recently. You know what? Ditto doesn't care, because I can steal your fucking boosts. The only thing that I would say is that lefties can be quite risky, because you are always constantly going to risk the speed die. But that's the trade-off. I personally prefer lefties. I did use a Choice Scarf one at some point, and it's not bad, but it's kind of easy to deal with because they know their own fucking moves. They can kind of tell what you're going for, and you have to play pretty ballsy with a Choice Scarf one anyway. So you may as well go with lefties, and on the off chance you do win the speed tie, just increase your survivability. So, hey, why not? And then the Joy Scarf Scrappy Pangoro, which is the one of the main reasons I do not give a flying monkey's anus about Spiritomb. Because most of them are calm mind, and yeah, nearly all of them are calm mind these days, and nearly all of them will carry Dark Pulse. You could just go into Pangoro for free. Storm Throw, Crunch, whatever you want, Parting Shot, doesn't matter. I will say it is a little bit on the weak side, which is kind of stupid to think it's got base 124 attack and it does feel a bit peddly. But no one expects the choice Goff Pangoro, and as Robotnik has proved many a time before, it kicks ass and it really works, and I really can't complain. Um, originally I had a Dustox in there for a bit more poison shit with Defog, and I was like, that's awful. So I switched to a Rotom fan to get. Um, a bit more ground co or uh, ground resistances in there, if you will. And then I was like, eh, it's not bad, but fuck it, Ditto. So Ditto's here, because it's really good. I really can't, I know. Someone's going to have to tell me why it's not used more. I guess risking the speed tie kind of sucks, granted. Um, but, I don't know. It's better than just getting smashed by plus two for alligator, um, set up Combuskin. One thing I haven't seen yet is it baton pass into Zatu. I don't know if Zatu went up, I did not see it. I believe Shiftry was the only casualty of um, usage stats, but I haven't seen Zatu yet. I reckon Ditto would probably lose that. Um, well, actually no, since I've got lefties, I think it would kind of depend who has the balls to go for the stored power first actually. I really do. But it's certainly a interesting dilemma although on the other hand if I can play it right I've got Scarf Crunch from a Pangoro um, I've got the Haunter so I don't know it could come down to an awful lot of things. It might well come down to whether his combustion has got Fire Punch or Sky Uppercut, because Haunter would probably have that. And hey, if shit really hits the fan, you still got a Spex Weezing, which doesn't give a fuck. It will smash the world. It really is just very, very good. Very, very good. I think I well no, I tried scarfed a few times. I've sort of dabbled in Weezings. I kind of know Weezing a bit. He's a cool dude. But I think Specs is just the way to go. And oh, there's slacking. That's odd. Where is the Yamask? Most slacking users will run Yamask. And then do the whole pursuit thing. Which, to be fair, is actually a fairly viable strategy if you play it right. Don't see why not. Um, You are probably... 
going to do things. I don't know what things yet. I'm trying to figure that one out. Uh, Mike Typhlosion. Let's have a look. Yeah, gonna do that. Well then. Oh, we got the Giga Impact. Gunk Shot, eh? That's interesting. <laughs> Two big fat dudes chilling. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It does look quite cool, actually. Slacking on slacking action. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is I'm going to flat out 100% lose this fight. So I'm going to go into Bastiodom. Yeah. Go oh, Because I haven't got the HP for it. He can outdo me in HP. Um, I don't know what kind of slacking is going to be, though. That I do not know. However, if you want to try this, buddy, by all means. Go on. Go for the EQ. Give me a free Toxic. Hey, he just... Uh, he's got to go. That's a shame. It's so nice playing around slackings, you know? It's, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, well. Yeah. I realized it. It's just fun. I don't know. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's got enough cover that it can kind of handle shit. Um, but yeah, the w main problem with it is water. That's kind of the killer. Because if you get something really chunky, like a Scarf Wailord, would probably motor through a reasonable portion of my team. Dragalge is another thing. Because that can do the whole school bullshit. That can present massive problems. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's a fucking team, alright. Although, he's got the double crunch weakness. In fact, he's very weak to duck. He's very weak to duck. In fact, he's got the double psychic weakness as well. I'm going to try for the Haunter. And hope he doesn't have knockoff. Oh, that's some bulk. That's some bulk. Yes, sirree. Where are you going? Missy! Fucking hell, is that a salt vest? Must be. Uh, I'm going to be ballsy and I'm going to go into Pangora. Lovely. And now we can do this. Boosh. No, it's really fucking good. I... I've tried the Scarf Lickies before. It's let me down. But you know what? Scarf Pangoro's got just enough speed and pretty good coverage and the parting shot to work really well. I'm actually going to stay in. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, I figured you'd go for another layer of spikes. I'm not too bothered. I'm just going to kind of have to deal with it. But I think I can muddle through. And I do have um, some levitating nudes. So I'm alright with that. I'm not overly infused, but I'll handle it. Uh, you are probably going to go for a knockoff. Fortunately, you've got more HP than anything. Which is good. Because that means I can fucking abuse it. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, it's not. Are you fucking serious? Spirit Tomb! Don't let me down, buddy. Oh, well. I pretty much need to go into Bastiodon. I need me some Stealth Rocks. No, oh, no, he's a Shuffle Dragalge. I fucking hate that shit. Oh, at least I got the pain split off. Oh, Justice. Is he actually gonna let me wisp? Yeah, he's gonna let me wisp him. He's just gonna slowly die then. Oh, that's fine, Dabby Dozy. Well, he took it well, but I kind of expected he would. Oh, oh, Haunter, you tanked it. That's not great. That's not great at all. I'm gonna go for that. And now your Archaeops is ruined. Twat. 
Although I suppose his throw now gets... Uh, uh, it's worked out reasonably well. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I'm kind of thinking about being cheeky here. Yeah, let's go be cheeky. Because, uh, what has he got? Oh, I see. That's interesting. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Okay. So, in theory, I can just beat him down over time. That's not too bad. Alright, I won the speed die. Oh, God. Oh, he's got lefties. Ah. Ah. I'm going to go for a knockoff then. Oh, that's what he's doing. Ah, now it all makes sense. That was a poor play, though. I would have just gone for whatever. Actually, no, no, he can't have had acrobatics. All right, fuck it, then, fine. Taunt you. Meh, it's all right. Ditto is being well cheeky right now. Oh, uh, that's quite... Uh, that's reasonably well played. Still, his throw's nearly dead. His Gorgeist is probably going to die at some point. Yeah, I figured he'd outspeed. Oh well, I get to do that. Rocky fucking helmet. Alright, I'd say Ditto did its job well enough. Yeah, that is just uh, uh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I'm gonna go into Pangora. I'm basically just gonna try and get a massive hit off on it before it kills me. I don't think Fro will take a couple of crunches. Nope. Oh, Pangoro, you're so cool! So cool. Lovely. Anyway, uh, yeah, I did actually have, well, I had a sort of semi-topic to do, which is all like, when I was at the Emirates Cup, you know, I, I, I did generally want to go, you know, even though it's Arsenal and I'm a Spurs supporter and it's sort of like, blah, Judas and all this stuff, you know, I get that. But I didn't want to go. I had a good time with my mates and uh, we enjoyed ourselves and it was good. Well, it was a readable match. The first match, Valencia Benfica was better though. Was it Valencia? I think it was Valencia. That's what I remember it being. But for some reason, you know what it's like. In front of me and uh, one of my mates, there were three kids. Now, I'm pretty fairly... Oh, cool, he's got a Duosian. When PU comes out, I am jumping on the Duosian bandwagon. <laughs> I know how good that little bastard is. It's a beast. It's a fucking beast. It's so cool. Ah, yeah. You know what it's like. There's three little kids in front of you. It's like you go to a restaurant and you're having a nice meal and then suddenly just out of the corner you can just hear this little shit go off on one. So it was basically like that. Obviously his dad wanted to go watch football and that's fine. You know, he wanted to go watch his team play. That's cool. I'm down for that. Fucking shit. That is a salt vest. Fair enough. Fair enough. That is some power. Um, Ditto would do really poorly here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Although I do, I can do this. I think, if all goes to plan. Yeah, that's cool. Unless he specs, that would be ballsy. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to Pangoro. This may have just panned out. Oh! Okay, it panned out an entirely different way, but that'll do. I'm going to go for the parking shot. Do you really want some of this character? No, you don't. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Alright, a bit roundabout, but it's worked out in the end. That'll do. That'll do. Hmm. I'm thinking Haunter again, since he probably can't hit me. Yeah, you know, it's like, you're in a restaurant, and there's these little shit, and they go off on one, and you're just like, fuck's sake, why can't you keep them at home? Well, obviously, his dad want to go watch football. And that's fine. I've got no problems with that. But the kids obviously really fucking didn't. Like, with a burning, fiery passion. And he was just sort of giving them loads of junk food and all this crap, and they were flailing all over the place. And they were like, oh my god, it's only 20 minutes till we get to go, you know, go out for dinner. And I'm just like, why are you fucking here? D -d -d baby father, why bring your insipid fucking little jizz spawn to something they don't want to do? Why don't you get a babysitter? How fucking hard can it possibly be? 
And so that's, it kind of led me onto a little ta tangent. Where I was like, you know what? When I'm older, if I have a kid, and God help the little bastard if I do. Jesus. He's not gonna. It's. Oh. So considering my patience is like that, having a kid will be interesting. I'll try though. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna like hit him or stuff, but there'll probably be quite a lot of psychological damage in his future with a parent like me. But I never, ever, ever, 100% ever going to take him to like a restaurant. You know, things like things like that. Things where people want to watch things and not be bothered and enjoy themselves. You know, that kind of thing. Cause like I, I, you know, I take them to parks and things. That's fine. You know, a parks for it's fair game. Maybe like museum if you can keep them under control. I don't know. But legit, just never take them to fucking. Restaurant, like you, you, we've all been there, all right. I went out to a restaurant for my birthday, and this whole family showed up with like seventeen fucking kids on this ginormous like table of death, and they were just like, "Don't run around!" And all the kids were running around and flinging their food, and I'm like, "You fucking serious? I'm going to kill you." I was not best pleased. I mean, maybe this guy is actually spexed. No, he's not. He's a soul vest, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's say you don't you don't see Stunfisk enough. I heard BT say that he hated Stunfisk, and I'm like, why? It's got pretty cool move pool, pretty nice stats. Yeah, it's got Limba, and that's stupid, but it's still pretty cool. He really is trying to push the cat turn agenda, isn't he? Fair enough. So yeah, it just kind of led me onto that little thing. Like, I, I, you know, I get that some parents want to go to restaurants and things, and that's fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not against that. But it's just a little bit of compassion towards other people might go a long way. And I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, you see, what happened there was you used Duosian fucking wrong, my friend. I don't know what kind of moves he had, Pangoro might have handled it, as may have Bastion on, but he used Duosion wrong. <laughs> uh, I thought you'd be sashed. Oh well, I don't have to care anymore, kill the wheezing, that's fine, I've got Pangoro, I win. This team's great, it's fucking amazing. So, yeah, I know, G give your thoughts on that. Because, yeah, it's a, it's just a little little thing I have. Like, if you want to have kids, that's fine. Uh, I will say, though, don't have kids just to leech off the government. That's really fucking scummy and horrible and an evil thing to do. If you're going to have a kid, at least make sure you actually want a kid and that they've got a reasonable sort of environment to grow up in. Not on a council estate where you're just leeching off the government so you can go out and buy booze and shit. You know? Show a little bit of compassion to the little bastard that's stewing away in your belly. But, just think about maybe other people. I say, I probably will end up having to take the little, like, my hypothetical fecker to a restaurant at some point. But I'm going to do my damnedest to not do that. I'm going to do my damnedest to try and get a babysitter. Because, like, until they're maybe, like, actually, God, no, until they're, like, 16, they're just wankers for life, aren't they? Actually, no, even when they're 16. Although, hopefully, by that point, I've at least drummed a little bit of respect and decency into their cunt. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless it all goes horribly wrong. Then they'll probably just become a goth and hate me and, I don't know, get one of those stupid fringe things that covers one of their eyes. Just think, you look stupid! You can't see! Ah! Oh, well. Ramblings of an insane person. Mm. Uh, one other thing that I was thinking about talking about is um is a uh, rants actually. I'm gonna have a rant about rants because it's kind of an odd one. Um, I believe when I did the raise the roof for the hymns, which was so fucking funny, and everyone was like, "That's pro. That's really cool." I can't believe some old dude said that without a hint of irony. It was amazing. Um, uh, I believe I made, I was talking to someone uh, in YouTube comments, I can't quite remember for the life of me who it was, 
But we're having a bit of a chin wag. We're talking about religion. In fact, there was quite a lot of religious chattings on that. Which I thought was quite cool. Ooh. That's a janky folks. Was he banded? Must be. I'm going to go for the crunch. Because, hey, why not? Yeah, that really seems like a banded moveset to me. But there you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm a bit of a chin wag. And then eventually, like, um, one little argument that I had. Oh, oh yeah, he is banded, alright. Fair enough. Pangoro! To the rescue! Uh, we're having a bit of a chin wag. And then eventually, um, I make quite a ballsy claim, which is that I compared, like, God to Hitler. Always with the non-controversial topics, me, I do try. Um, but I thought it was quite an interesting thing, and I was quite interested to see what he'd think. And he was sort of like, dude, you've got to include this in a rant somewhere. It's going to piss someone off. But, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah. It's going to piss someone off, but it is actually quite an interesting point of, you know, point of view. And I was like, that's true. But, it's a little bit <laughs> on the touchy side. What the fuck are you doing? I'm getting me some free toxic spikes, mate! Hell yeah! I'm down for that. Thank you, Ditto! Think about it. Haunter noms this guy's face. Scarfed Haunter, man. It's so fucking cool. Like, I don't care if he wants to protect and stuff. I really don't. No, oh, he did not. He gone for the wisp. He's gone for the wisp. Interesting. Um. Um. Uh, it's not too bad, you know. No, I'm gonna stay in. It's fine. I'm not that fast, to be honest. I figured he'd probably protect. Okay. Now what do we do? I'm think well, he's either gonna go into Grumpig or he's gonna try and set up the Mighty Yenna, so I'm actually thinking it's going to wheezing of my own. Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's fine, that's randy dandy. I'm down for that shit, because his wheezing's also nearly dead, which is nice, because that means a couple of sludge waves will probably have it, and if he uh, wants to try and switch into Grumpig now, Grumpig's fairly specially bulky. Um, it might take two, I don't know, I feel fairly confident that I'd probably free it KO it. So I can get a nice hit, scarf her out, maybe into Ditto and die, I don't know. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna commit the Grumpig. That might be Assault Vest. Might be. Um, I'm gonna go into Ditto as last ditch, and I'm just gonna see what he's got. Side Shark, okay. I suppose I probably should have saved it for Vavillion, but I do have the Bastiodon! All-purpose Vavillion counter! Oh, man. So fucking good. Um, I'm gonna go into Pangora. Nothing particularly wants to handle the Pangora. Um, See, so yeah, anyway, he was like, uh, get, getting back to it, I was talking about how comparing Hitler to religion, and it was such a lovely, uh, Discussion, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, so yeah, and then he was like, "You've got to put this in a rant at some point," and I was like, "It's a valid point." But the thing is, you can only like there have been many times when I wanted to rant about things before, and I've and there have been many other times when I've said, "You know what? Suggest a rant topic. You know, let's get some people involved." But the thing is, I can only really rant about things that truly just get on my tits. Which is a very interesting well, dilemma, first world problem shit, to have. Because it's all like, it'd be cool to get a sort of a bit more interactivity with you guys, and it'd be cool to see what really, you know, gets on your tits, but it's sort of like, there's no real way that I can get really properly worked up, unless someone, like, took the time to explain it to me. It's like all this stuff in, um, uh, Israel. Like, until my sister really, like, said, hey, this thing sucks, it's really stupid, I was like, mm. people fight, people are stupid, and people are dumb. But then, you know, when you sort of get into it a bit more, you start seeing how fucking stupid all this shit starts, you know, it starts to get, and you just, you know, it's sort of 
worms its way into you a bit better. What are you gonna do, Vavillian? I really have dick all idea. Because I'm actually gonna... Ah, oh, that's what he's gonna do. Alright then, the wisp was the bad play. Fine. Oh well, he's gonna die a bit quicker. In fact, I might be able to have him with the soccer punch. Yes, I will. Lovely. So, it's... it's you know, it, it kind of seems like it would be obvious, but it's sort of like, you'd think, ah, you can just get worked up about anything. I'm just the grumpiest man on the planet. But it's not that simple. It's not. You've got to, you've got to really commit if you want to be very grumpy. It's not easy. It's not easy being this miserable and cross all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I would quite like to sort of hear sort of rant topics and again there were you know there was a period of time where I just didn't want to rant about anything because there was nothing that really pissed me off to a degree but it, it's mm, it's one of those very odd things and it sounds kind of selfish sort of like you know you should be able to take up other people's causes and moan about it and that is true to a certain degree I should be able to it's sort of like <sighs> You know, like when people go to a protest, it's like people went to go protest uh, how Israel treated Gaza, and they uh, the news actually covered that as saying it was about um, anti-Semitism, which is just like, what? You just covered that as anti-Semitism? Wow. Class, guys. Class. So that's a thing, but it's sort of like, you know, you should be able to take up the, you know, other people's causes, because that's kind of how it should work, but it's just don't quite feel it, it's just not quite there, and it's a very odd problem to have, it really is. Um, you know, like, that's kind of how I felt about, you know, Israel, Gaza, you know, Syria bullshit, you know, when, um, oh god, what was it, um, uh, pro-Russian militants in wherever it was, I can't fucking remember at the moment. Like, shut down that plane. Like, that really sucks. But everyone was like, why would they do that? How could they be so awful? Oh, it's just like, people are stupid wankers. Like, mm. Unless something happens to me, or something happens in a vague region that pisses me off. You know, like, I was more annoyed at the whole Sean Hannity thing. Like, treating Russell Brand like crap and then sort of trivialising the conflict in Israel than I was about the whole Israel conflict. Like, you can sum up the whole Israel conflict quite happily. All Israel want is to make their balls feel big and they want to, they want a holocaust. They want to, you know, they want to own a place and be like, yeah, Germany can kick us out of our... Our place, we can kick people out of... Uh, this is like, this is all they want. They're not, you know, they're just doing it under the guise of, hey, this Gazan guy has been really mean, they're bombing us. Uh, quickly go bomb that hospital. That one over there, the UN one, uh, is great. Oh, but they're really bad. It's called People are Dicks. Israel being dicks. That's about the, you know short and curly's of it. They were given land and they were like, well, we're gonna own it now. No one can live here because it's ours. We're not sharing no. They're just being five-year-olds. Because people are dicks. You can sum that up quite happily, whereas the whole Sean Hannity thing is just like, what the hell? You Now you're just trivializing the whole war. You know? He's kind of making it into a... Yeah. I mean, at least, like, you can kind of... Oh, I think the only thing you can really do in that situation is listen to both sides of the argument. And quite frankly, Israel and Gaza are both being... Ding well, both being exactly just as stupid. In fact, I could go actually go into this rant topic right now. Oh, but we're at 40 minutes. So I'm just going to sum up my thoughts quickly on it. Might go into it a bit later, though. And I suppose I'm trivialising the whole war thing a bit as well, but it's sort of like what Hannity did is just sort of like, he used the the war as a sort of jumping off point to further his own agenda and sort of just say, hey, yeah, go Israel, because America's allied with Israel, yeah, in Gaza, well, we got a guy from Palestine, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, God, you know, is Gaza 
a terrorist group. And the Palestinian guy was, well, actually, if you look at it, and he'd like Sean Hannity just started pointing at him and shouting at him, and it's just like, yeah, that's not a discussion. That's not even an argument. That's just bullying. That's terrorism. Ah. So yeah, I, I thought that was actually a little bit worse than conflict. You can sum up the conflict as people are dicks and just being stupid. And the Gaza, you know, the Gaza militants do not help themselves. Like, I'm sorry, you got a ceasefire and you took a guy prisoner. Good job, guys! That's really going to accelerate that. That's really going to get the peace sort of treaties in, go, you know, in motion. Yeah, and you have a peace... You have a, a ceasefire within, I don't know, what, like an hour? Already captured a dude. So I think both of them are equally as stupid, although I think Israel are doing it in a worse way. Like, bombing UN hospitals is quite a large dick move, and I think at this point anyone's got the right to go in and go, Hey! Do you wanna not? That's a bit mean. <laughs> So, I think they're both being stupid, but like I said, the Sean Hannity thing actually pisses me off slightly more, because he's just sort of using it to further his own thing. He's not doing it because he cares about the conflict, he's doing it because he wants ratings. And he wants people to be like, Hey, I like the colour of this guy's trip, he really knows what he's talking about. It's like, no he doesn't. He hasn't got a fucking clue, he's just a shouty man. Big shouty man who thinks he's got all the answers in the world. In fact, I saw he just recently flew out to Israel, and I'm just like, yeah, you. He's probably gonna do a broadcast and be like, yeah, what now, Russell Brand? I'm such a big dick, G. I flew out to Israel. I'm just like, you're probably doing that somewhere in a like massive bunker, aren't you? Probably is. You know, fucking go out into the Gaza Strip and then do something, and then we'll talk. Oh dear. So you go. I suppose that kind of gets back to the little rant thing. You know, I can only really rant about something that really gets on my tits. Like, I'd love to sort of go into detail on my Hitler comparison to God thing, because it's actually a really interesting sort of look on the topic, and while I'm sure it would annoy some people, I think that the ca comparisons that you can draw between the way Hitler did things and the way religion does things is quite alarming when you think about it. Maybe someone long ago already made the comparison, and maybe, you know... I'm not being new here. Maybe people are like, oh yeah, I wrote that, that ages ago. But it's sort of like, I think it's quite an interesting thing to look at. But it doesn't quite get on my nose right now, because as I said, I'm a human. You know, things that annoy me change drastically over time. So I know. This is kind of what I'm saying. I don't know why I went to the rant, rant about rants, because no one's asked about any rants, and no one's really suggested any rants, but it's kind of an interesting thing that I have with myself, which is that there have been quite a few rants that I'd want to have, and I'd love to have, but if it doesn't annoy me, then I can't really get passionate about it. I can't really go into detail and be like, Bro, fuck those guys! So, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. That's quite an enjoyable video. When I tried recording yesterday, I just wasn't up for it. There was just nothing there, but I quite enjoyed that. Hmm. So yeah, um, in summary, that team, as I point at the screen, that one! That one! Ah, that one! That team's very good. I really enjoy it. Ditto is, su is surprisingly good. I still can't figure out why no one's using it. I've no fucking idea. It, it's fantastic. Uh, there are a few problems with it, but I genuinely enjoy it, and I think it's pretty randy dandy. Um, as Robotnik has proved for many a time, Scarf Pangoro is a fucking beast. And it's awesome. Um, I don't want Spirit Team to get banned now, because I love it, and I can beat it so easily. Bastiodon will have it. Um, Pangoro. Scrappy Stormfro. Thank you, Robotnik. Thank you. It kicks so much butt. So I don't really care about Spirit Doom anymore. But yeah. So, few couple of bands. Team's awesome. Um, if you're a parent, don't, don't take your kids to restaurants. You know, take them to things that they might actually want to go to. I mean, yeah, they're gonna freak out anyway, but I don't know. Show a little bit of consideration to other people. I pro you'll probably be, if there is a parent who watches me, which is God, why do you watch me, Jesus? I hope you don't treat me as a role model for your kids. That'd be awful. But if there is a parent who's just like, oh, you shouldn't tell me how to be a parent. I'm a parent. You're not a parent. You're just some twenty-year-old loser. I'm like, yeah. So perspective changes a lot of things, doesn't it? Um, and yeah, um, fuck Sean Hannity even though he's hilarious and constantly provides me with massive, just, 
it's like watching his stuff is just it's like fucking comedy central it really is he is a very funny man i don't think he means to be and he probably thinks he's like a biggest dick g ever but he's such a twat oh well um and yeah israel gaza i think they're both just as stupid as each other because they really are you know, it's just the Palestinians and the poor Israelis who don't want to fight are just getting caught in this stupid crossfire between two nations. One who's like, oh, give me a bit more land back. And the other one's like, oh, get out of the way, I'm turning left. I don't, I'm trying to hit you with my dick. It's just sort of like, you know, and then everyone was like, why are you still fighting? It's like, it's for your own good, it's for your own good. All those bombs landing on you, for your own good. It's just like, right. Anyway, I should shut up, otherwise I could go back into that and I'll be there for a while. Whatever. Um, hope you enjoyed. I had a good rant. I enjoyed that. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. Peace.